I am Nitesh Goyal and welcome back to our channel ML4 Analytics. In this video tutorial, we will be studying that how we can resolve these kind of dates with the help of Power Query. For example, in many case scenarios, we get the dates of like say 2020 01, 01, 2018 05, 02, or whatever the number, these kind of digits we get and the system is not able to decide whether it is a date column or just random numbers. For example, in our source, I provided these kind of values which were initially text type and then it changed its data type automatically to text or for two numbers, all numbers I would say. So, how we can resolve this issue? We can resolve this issue with the help of two ways. So, the first one is by splitting the values into different columns. So, let's split this value with the help of split column option. Let's go splitting by number of characters. As we know, the year value which is present at the left hand side 2020, 2018, 2019, in this case consists of four characters. So let's split from the left side up to four characters. And this provides us a new column, let's say this one. And one thing to notice over here is it has removed the initial zeros from the left side. Like for example, for the month of January, it has removed zero. For the fifth month it has removed zero from the left side so instead of now splitting the column from the left side we will be splitting it from the right side and let's do that as well and for the date we know that or the day we know that there are two characters for that so let's split two characters from the right side and this will divide things into let's like, say year month and day so let's rename that Now you will be thinking that how we are going to get that standard date format from this thing. So we can do that anytime with the help of let's say adding a custom column. So go to the add column option, click on custom columns and let's name this column as date. One thing to notice before I start over here, since I will be merging the values of these columns and they are all of whole numbers. First of all, I will have to create them into text values, then I can merge or concatenate them. So let's do that. For doing that, we will be using the function number two text. And in this column, we will be adding our particular column. So this will provide me the correct values or it will convert the values of year column to treat them as text values. Then we can append different strings to it. Let's say if you want the date to be delimited by a column or a hyphen, we can just add that over here and then again ampersand sign then provide this thing again number two text thing or so let's say just do that and add over here the month one and over here the day value then add a ampersand sign a half one and again I have ampersand sign. So this will provide us the desired format that we want in the dates. So this is 21, 2020, 01, 01. Still it's missing that 00, 0 over here. So what we can do is go to back home button and change to change its data type to data I would say. So we have got a standard date format over here. So currently it is following the Indian date format. I would say because this is the day value for us and this is the month and 2018 is the year. If you are working in US or in some other country, it will automatically pick up your particular date format for you. Still, we can achieve this kind of data also in our previous step where we edit the custom column and we can just modify the date as per our requirements. Now, this was the first way of doing so. So, let's check the what is the other way of doing the same thing. So I'm creating a duplicate value, duplicate work I would say, let's say method 2 and I'm removing all these extra steps that we performed previously. So this was the row value for us or uh, if you want to convert it to date, we can always do that just by clicking over here. So 
Let's say it is covering. This has provided us deep. That is good thing. However, there is a drawback of it. For example, if I would have been values, let's say 0, 1, 0, 1, 20, 20, everywhere where the values are smaller than 10 or 12, I would say, at the last four digits. So the system won't be able to decide which is the month value and which is the year value, or sorry, which is the day value. To overcome that, again, we will be using these steps only. We will be splitting the values. And for do that, first of all, what you can do is just create a duplicate of this one. Okay, duplicate column. And then convert it to the text values over here. Now, since you have got the text values, you can again transform these values with the help of the steps that we have performed over here. The splitting the column, then again combining them into a new column. So you can get the desired results that you want. So guys, this is it for this video. In this way, you can help. You can resolve any kind of date issue with that is facing that is you are facing in your scenario. So I hope this helps you in the future. Please do click the subscribe button, like, share, and subscribe our video, and please click the notification bell if you want to be notified for the next video that we will be posting you. So thank you very much guys, have a nice day.